Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am joined with Miss Hazel currently who is just chilling on the bed after I changed her this morning and in this video today I am going to be showing you some of my favourite props and just sort of giving you a bit of insight on some of the things that I find are my favourite and where I like to get them from um, and how to sort of do get the desired look you want but on a budget I guess. Um, I'll talk to you about where I got everything, um, prices and things like that so let's get straight into the video. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about are baby loungers and I have two currently um, and I have like a boppy feeding pillow uh, that's in the shape of a moon. <coughs> now this is the Doc Top Deluxe, sorry about that. This is the Doc Top um, and it was also called the Sleepy Head, I don't know. Uh, this was gifted to me by a friend who no longer needed it after she had a baby um, and that's how I got this. It's super nice with photos. I think originally the originally these are quite expensive. I think they're over a hundred pound, um, but I haven't had to buy this one. I just had this one given to me second hand. Um, it does have a stain on it, um, but I haven't even actually tried to wash this, so I probably should try to wash this. Um, but this is just me showing you Miss Hazel in it and how she sits in it, and I do really like this for pictures. Uh, you can get these on Facebook Marketplace for cheap. You can get them on. Um, you can buy them brand new if you really want to, but I mean, I'd probably just for the rebonds, I'd probably just buy one second hand. I don't need to buy one new. This then leads me on to my second pillow, and this is a poddle pod, very similar to the Snuggle Me Organic. Um, and this one hasn't got the cover on, it's just the pillow currently. Um, this one I believe I picked up on Facebook Marketplace, I think it was £10. Um, it was like the cheaper alternative to buying the um, actual Snuggle Me. I do want to Snuggle Me, but I just don't think like, I need one whilst I've got this. So I'm just going to use this until it's pretty worn. Um, and at the moment, I really like this. It's the same sort of idea as a Snuggle Me. I don't think Poddle Pods make them anymore i don't think that's a thing anymore not that i've seen anyways um but like i said i just picked this up off facebook marketplace for 10 pounds so it was a really cheap way of getting the desired look without having to actually spend hundreds on the actual item next is my nappy caddy i absolutely love this thing it's a great prop um it's really good for storing things and i just really like it so i picked up this like really gender neutral one it's just striped and I believe I got this from TK Maxx in the UK or HomeSense. I think it was one of those. Um, and I've just filled this. This is currently filled with stuff ready for my toddler. Uh, but this is also stuff that <clears throat> I like for photos and things. So if we go through it, I've got all the nappies. Now, I won't have to buy any more nappies because obviously it's a doll. It won't use them, but they're great for photos and things. I've got a changing mat in here, which came in one of my changing bags. A towel uh, that again I believed I pick up I picked up brand new because it was cheap and affordable and then wipes uh, these don't go to waste I actually use these myself but they're a great prop and then things like this like I didn't need this but I wanted this so for like the nose freedom and stuff um, also like little brushes toothbrushes uh, conditioners spray bottles all really cheap and affordable um, I also have a bamboo toothbrush that I use to style the hair. I believe this came with a doll that I had. A tub of Vaseline. I use this for myself, but it's also a really good prop. Um, I think that's it for this. So I just like to pick up things that I know I'll use regardless. Um, that are affordable. Uh, and that's what I like about these sort of things that I know they'll last me a very, very long time and I won't have to repurchase, but it is also nice to have them. Obviously, wipes and things like that I will um, use and then have to buy again, but like I won't need to buy a load of nappies for a long time. I won't need to buy brushes again unless they break because I've got them and things like that. But this is like one of my favourite things to have because I just think it makes my pictures look great. My videos look more realistic with this. Um, and I really like this. I really enjoy so this. So next, I just want to discuss clothes. Now, 
I will buy clothes brand new and I will also buy them secondhand. I'm not fussy uh, in that way. So for instance, I picked up these two sleep suits. I think it was a couple of years ago now uh, from Next and they were affordable and I really liked them. However, if there's a clothing brand I want to buy from like Organic Zoo or uh, Jamie K and things like that, for me, that can be a little bit pricey. So I'll try and find those items secondhand if possible, um, just because it saves money on them. Uh, so I like to check out places like Marketplace, um, eBay, uh, like the reborn sites on Facebook, people sell clothes like that all the time. Instagram, people do story sales. And that's where I can find like the desired look that I want without having to spend a ton of money. Um, and I think for clothes, I think a lot of clothes, especially high street brands, are really affordable for the dolls. But if not, another place that I absolutely love going to look for baby clothes are charity shops. I think they're thrift stores in other countries, but... Um, charity shops have some amazing finds like you can go to certain areas and find like really good like high-end quality clothes for a much much cheaper price and i really like that um so i love a good deal in that sense so that's where i save money when i'm buying clothes is i will like to go and have a look around uh, but if there is something that i see like on next or mamas and papas and things like that that i really want i will just buy it um especially if i know i'm going to use it for them and that's normally where I get things like that from. So bigger purchases like push chairs, car seats, cots. Um, unless I can find them for a really good price brand new, I will buy them secondhand. So every pram I have, if it hasn't been given to me, I will buy it secondhand. I've not brought a pram brand new yet. Um, I just can't justify the prices of prams. Um, so I've been really lucky that some of mine have been given to me, but some of them have also just been given to me very cheaply. Um, well, I've bought them for cheap. I'm really uh, savvy when I'm looking around for things like that. So that's what I try and keep an eye out for. Um, you've all seen my Kinder Craft uh, Next to Me crib. That was 20 something pounds from Aldi while I was doing a food shop one day. And that was such a great price for the desired look I wanted without spending stupid money. Again, with um, like next to me cribs, the like the um, snooze pod and things like that, they're really expensive, brand new, but you can find them on Facebook Marketplace. And I mean, it's not like these are real babies. So using the mattress that comes in it isn't a big deal. Um, also, I've obviously, I've said before, I've got friends and family who've had uh, children and they will give me things if they think I could use it. But I'm not opposed to buying brand new. I don't mind buying brand new, but I just think if I can save some money and put that towards another doll or things like that, I don't mind doing that. I'd rather do that. Finally, I just wanted to talk about this drawer, which is my prop drawer, because people ask me all the time about this. Um, and I don't know why it's so fascinating to some, but it is. Um, so a lot of the things I get are either brand new um, or secondhand, like I've said. And I'll shop around, like I'm happy to shop around. So I went to a children's, um, what's it called the other week? A little children's market where everything was secondhand. And I picked up a lot of things like that. A lot of things like uh, my Sophie drafts I've got here. These were from Facebook Marketplace um, and they were cheap. Uh, because Sophie can be expensive and I wouldn't mind buying a brand new Sophie uh, but I just didn't need to at the time I can find them cheaper uh, things like this I know I picked this up from TK Maxx in a set um, that's a good price for things like that books <clears throat> secondhand fantastic prices um, I don't mind doing things like that shoes is another one uh, a lot of shoes that I've got are uh, from market and things so these are originally next but I picked these up at a car boot sale for like 50p something ridiculous or a pound I think it was I don't really remember um and they've not been worn by an actual child so you you shop around you sort of learn the savvy ways uh my little teething toys and things like that once I've got them if I've had them second hand I just give them a clean and then um like a disinfectant because obviously they've been in someone else's mouth and then that's it like i'm not opposed to that but it's a way to get all of the desired things you'd like 
but on a budget in this hobby and I think that's really important and I, pe I think people get a little bit precious about things like that just because of um, like the, the, I guess I don't know some people if you've got the money spend it hey oh spend it but I love saving money um, again with clothes a lot of the clothes that i buy like i was saying before second hand just you can get so many lovely things this is my toddler's drawer that i've just filled up for her. you can get so many things for second hand um and you don't have to pay that price but then if you want to pay that price who's judging you really nobody miss hazel looks really cute in this light right now um but yeah so that's just i just wanted to give a quick insight on um where i sort of get my things from and and um, what I like to pay. I, um, I really like shopping around for a bargain. I think it's so much fun. Uh, but then like, again, if I see something that's affordable that I can buy, I will buy it. I'm not opposed to doing things like that. Um, I like to be able to buy the doll more than the products. So if I can get the doll I want, I know I can get the desired look I want uh, without spending a fortune. And especially because these dolls are so expensive. Um, it's nice to have that extra money to sort of put towards them and things like that. But that was just a quick little um, insight to where I get some of my things from and how I find my desired look without having to actually spend a fortune. Um, I hope you liked this video. I know it was quite quick, but someone had asked me if I could do one. So obviously I'm never going to say no. Uh, so I hope you have a lovely day. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.